CDs and DVDs are great for archiving data, but sometimes you want to protect financial or other private information in case your disk falls into the wrong hands, and sometimes you need to fit a lot of files onto one disk. To keep your data private and maximize use of the disk capacity, Creator makes it easy to encrypt or compress files as you burn them. In this tutorial, I'll show you how. Let's get started. First, open Creator. Then, click on the Data Copy tab and choose Burn Data Disk Advanced. This will launch Creator Classic. The Creator Classic window is divided into two areas. At the top is the Source Selector, where we'll choose the files and folders to burn to disk. And at the bottom is the Project area, where we'll organize the disk and choose options like encryption and compression before burning. The first step is to choose the files and folders to burn. I want to burn everything in my Documents folder, so I'll select it in the list at right and then click the Add button. Now the Documents folder appears in the Project list at the bottom. I could add more files or folders to this list, but this is all I want to burn right now. Also, notice the bar at the bottom that shows me how many disks I will need to record this much data. It says I will need more than one CD to burn everything. I could switch to a DVD, but instead I'll take advantage of the compression option to fit it onto fewer CDs. To do that, I'll click the Settings button and then check off the Enable Compression box. Some files compress more than others, so I'm not sure how many CDs this project will take, but it could be just one disk. I also want to encrypt my documents since they include my tax forms and other private data. So I'll click the Encrypt button and check the box to enable encryption. Here I'll need to set a password that I'll be sure to remember, since if I forget it, I'll lose access to these files forever. I won't check the box to hide file names, since I want to be able to easily see what files are on the disk. Now I'll click OK. Finally, I'll give the disk a name, then click the Burn button to start the process. If a blank disk isn't already in the drive, you can insert one now, then click OK. If more than one disk is needed for the project, Creator will ask you for it. Keep inserting disks until the project is finished. Now that I have a set of encrypted and compressed disks, I can read them by popping them into any PC. If I have Auto Run enabled, I can automatically open them with the Roxio Retrieve application, which is included on each disk. Since the disk is encrypted, I'll need to enter my password. Roxio Retrieve shows me all the files on my disk. From here I just check off the files or folders I want to copy to my hard disk, then click the Copy button. Finally, I'll choose the location I want to copy the files to and click the Retrieve button. In a few seconds, the files are copied and I'm all done. I'll put my encrypted disk back in a safe location for the next time I need a file. 